Hi, in this video we are going to discuss the amplitude, period and frequency of sinusoids. So a graph is a sinusoid, if you can write it in this form, A times sine of Bx plus C plus D, A, B, C and D are constants, A and B cannot be zero. So I also want to point out that we call them sinusoids but it can also be a cosine function because the cosine function is the, the graph of the cosine function is going to be different from the graph of the same function by a horizontal shift you can write cosine x as sine of x plus pi over 2 and pi over 2 will be a phase shift which we'll talk about later so let's start with talking about the amplitude the amplitude is going to be the absolute value of this number that's going to sit in front of your sine or cosine function possibly a standard sine function a basic sine function its amplitude is one which means it goes as high up as one and as low down as negative one so the total span here the total height of the wave is two and the amplitude is going to be half of that so, um, to find the amplitude, all you need to do is take the absolute value of that value of A, which is the number here. So, absolute value of 3 is 3. This is our amplitude. So, that means that graph is going to go as high as, as 3 and as low down as negative 3. What's the amplitude of this? Please remember the fact that it's negative does not make any difference. We're still going to take the absolute value, which is going to give us two-thirds. And on this function, as you understand, is going to be the absolute value of 4, which is 4, which is the amplitude. Okay? So we're actually going to take a look at the three graphs of these functions, they're, they're going to be graphed together and we'll see which one is which. So remember, one function has an amplitude of 3, another one has the amplitude of 2 thirds and the other one has the amplitude of 4. So, so this here, this, the, uh, the highest going one, is the one with the amplitude of 4. So this one here is going to be f of x equals 4 cosine x. The one that goes a little bit lower, this one here, this one's going to be f of x equals, uh, what was it, 3 sine x. And the one here, this one was f of x equals negative 2 thirds sine x. Okay, so that's what amplitude looks like. The higher the, the graph goes, the more it spans from its lowest point to its highest point, the higher the amplitude is. The period is another thing. And the, the period of a sinusoid is calculated as 2 pi divided by um, the absolute value of b. And I want to remind you really quick, b was the number in front of x here. Okay, so whatever that number is, you divide 2 pi by that, the absolute value of that number and it will give you the period. The reason we're working with 2 pi is because the period for both sine and cosine is 2 pi. That's why we're dividing 2 pi by that number. Um, the, to find the frequency, the frequency is going to be the absolute value, uh, it's going to be the reciprocal of the absolute value of, well, of 2 pi over the absolute value of b. So it's going to be absolute value of b of 2 pi. So again, if we take the graph of sine function, its full revolution is going to be 2 pi. It's going to complete full cycle. So frequency of that graph is going to be 1 over 2 pi, which frequency is going to represent how many full cycles or portion of a full cycle a sinusoid is going to complete in one unit, in which case, uh, in, in this particular case, we're talking about one radian. All right, so let's go ahead and do some problems. So find the period and the frequency of this function. So it's sine of 3x. So what we do is uh, our the value of b is 3. And we're going to take 2 pi. So we're looking for a period. 
which is going to be 2 pi divided by absolute value of 3, which is 2 pi over 3. The frequency is going to be the reciprocal of that's 3 over 2 pi. Okay, so that means it's going to complete three full revolutions in the in, in, on an interval of 2 pi. That's what frequency represents. This graph, so what's the value of b here? We need to be very careful. The value of b here is 1 fourth because essentially what you have is negative sine of 1 fourth x. Alright, so to find the period of this function we're going to divide 2 pi by 1 fourth which is going to give us 8 uh, pi, right? And the frequency here is going to be the reciprocal of that which is 1 over 8 pi. And this, so please note that the number here is negative, it doesn't really matter is the value of b is negative two-fifth. Uh, so to calculate the period here we're going to take 2 pi and we're going to divide it by the absolute value of negative two-fifth which is going to end up giving us 5 pi once we simplify that. And the frequency here is going to be the reciprocal of that which is 1 over 5, uh, sorry, five 1 over 5 pi. So let's take a look at the graphs. So which one is which? The one with the uh, the shortest period is this graph here. The one with the shortest period was uh, the very first graph. That was uh, uh, sine three x. And uh, just to explain the frequency, see how fast this graph is going up and down as opposed to this one. So it takes this graph a lot less time to complete the full cycle like going from this point here to this point as opposed to this graph which takes longer and definitely it takes longer for this graph to do that. So this graph is going to be f of x equals sine 3x. Uh, the other graph, the graph with the uh, the highest, the longest period is going to be the one that had the period of 8 pi which was the second graph so that that's this one and that was uh, negative 2 sine of x over 4 f of x equals and then the remaining one here was 4 cosine f of x equals 4 cosine of negative 2 fifth x. Right. Uh, a brief talk about a phase shift. Um, so if you divide, let me go back to the, the graph, back to the equation and show you this one more time. So in an equation this value here, this is the value c, divided by b, you take the absolute value of that um, ratio is going to give you a phase shift. A phase shift, so for this graph the phase shift is zero but if you start moving this graph left to right you're going to get what's called a phase shift. It's a term coming from electrical engineering and uh, that's what it is. And uh, let's take a look at a couple of examples. So phase shift, we're not getting into too many details but phase shift here is going to be pi over 4. So we divide in pi over 4 by 1. Right? Remember there's 1, so it's just pi over 4. And the phase shift here is going to be, so it's going to be pi over 3 divided by 2. Of course we take the absolute value, but both numbers are positive, so it's going to be pi over 6. And I have one last thing to talk about. What about that value of d? Let me show you what value uh, I'm referring to. There is also one number that we did not talk about, which is this number 
tilling outside of everything. So when we do plus D. So as you know from functions behavior, it's a vertical shift. But uh, coupled with the with the amplitude of a function, it is actually going to become a meaningful thing. So it represents vertical shift and there is a connection between the amplitude, the vertical shift and its greatest and least values. So we want to find the greatest and the least values of this function. Remember um, the graph of sine function is bounded, but in this case we have an amplitude of 5, right? And also the vertical shift of 2. So what does that mean? That means that from the value of 2, from the value of 2, let me write that the amplitude here is going to be 5. So what it looks like is we're going to have a value of 2, so it's y equals 2, and from that line the graph is going to go up 5 units and down 5 units. Okay, so its maximum value that this particular function is going to, to attain is going to be 2 plus 5. So 2 is a vertical shift plus 5 units which represents its amplitude which is going to give us 7. What is its minimum value? Its minimum value will be going from 2 minus 5 because now you're going to go 5 units down and that's going to give you negative 3. So these are, this is the maximum, this is the minimum value. Alright, and that's it.